But before all of that, this is the only time of the year where it's socially acceptable to have a bit of chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Donal <laughs> is with us in the kitchen. This is a sweet start to the day. This time. is, a, and it's only 10 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a sweet start to the day. But look, this is the time of year where we're going to still have lots of chocolate knocking around. So I've got a, a recipe that's going to make the most of them, even if you don't want to just like sat, sit on the sofa yeah. and snap it's them. Not, it, it's amazing, isn't it, to have all that chocolate and yeah. just have a good excuse of Christmas yeah. to eat it. Mm. But it's it's nice to do something different with it. Well, exactly. If you're feeling up to it, and we're kind of heading towards the new year, new goals, new year, but this is not the recipe that's going to sort you out, OK? <laughs> this is going to no, be the I one that knocks you I'm back so a few. I'm so glad you're doing brownies, because any yeah. time I've done brownies, I can never get them, like, gooey. Exactly. Well, this is what the core element of this recipe is. So I'm going to show you how to use your chocolate, but the core base of this is a really good brownie recipe, and it starts off it's with some butter and sugar. So with this, all you're going to do is whisk it up, and you'll see what it looks like. Basically, should be at this point now where it's kind of light and fluffy. The tendency when you're mixing butter and sugar is that you don't bring it far enough and you don't introduce enough air. But oh. what happens is when this kind of bakes off, you're going to get that really dense, fudgy, moist interior on yeah. your chocolate. So it's really good. So once you're at this point, I've cracked my three <laughs> eggs. Is he already in? He's gone in, yeah. <laughs> Which one did you go for? The chocolate the orange. The chocolate orange. You can't go wrong. Oh, hold on, is this a... Dark chocolate orange. This is the dark, dark chocolate one, orange. Yeah. Oh, Never extra even bougie. seen one of them. And they've, they've got a mint one now. Yes, they have. Love them. And a white one. And a white one. And a white Didn't one. Know Didn't know that. Yeah. The mint one's really good. So. As you're whisking, you're going to whisk in your eggs. Now, pop them into a bowl like this, and you can add them in one at a time. And the idea here is to kind of beat after each addition until you have, like, a, new, a nice, smooth mixture. So, bit of noise, bit of crack, but this is the sort of thing you could involve the kids in. My, my two are absolutely nuts around this time of the year, so I need to kind of focus their intention, and something like this is quite handy, OK? Yeah. So, give it a good mix, last egg goes in, and then you should be left with this lovely, light, fluffy batter that's ready for your chocolate. Now, as I said, we're going to use up the chocolate. We're going to use up the best of what you've got left over. What did you yeah. get? A hair? <laughs> <laughs> a oh, that's just a festive bauble, Emma. That's, that's all that bauble. is. Don't worry. Really that. <laughs> it's not a. It's broke my tooth. It kind of looks like <laughs> a piece of Lego. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all safe to eat, I promise. Now, chocolate. At this time of year, like we said, we've loads of chocolate left over. You can mix, match whatever mm -hmm. you have, unwrap all the bits you have from the boxes, or just stick with one. I've got uh, some of the chocolate orange ones that I've popped in here. Now, the one thing I will say is, like, some of these chocolates aren't of the best quality, and they have a tendency to kind of, like, split and kind of mm. go a bit miserable. But if you do it, and if you melt them, whatever you have, pop them in a bowl, sat over a saucepan, that bring, that, and bring it to a nice kind of steady simmer. That point you can just slowly stir and that's when you'll get the best silky chocolate and that's when you can add it in here let it cool ever so slightly before you do but you know most chocolate can be brought back to life when you stick it in a bowl and melt it oh that just yeah. makes me excited just looking at that it? Just i was gonna say i know you've um i know you've got a piece of chocolate orange on the top yeah but i didn't realize there was chocolate orange in the brownie as yeah, well. Yeah, I can taste it. This is the secret. Lovely, This yeah. is the secret too. And, like, you could do chocolate and mint. You could do basically whatever works with chocolate. Just go for it. And mm -hmm. this is where you can get a bit um, experimental. And, like, we have a lovely ganache sort of frosting over the top of this, but you can decorate with whatever of whatever chocolates you have. Now, mix that through and you should have... You see the basis of your brownie mixture coming together. Once the batter looks like this and it's just about incorporated, I always say take the mixer out and don't go any further. This is always the moment where it all goes wrong, but uh, get rid of your beaters at this point, okay? Get Beat rid of them. Gone. gone. What you want to do at this point is fold through because we want things to be light and delicate and to get that really fudgy interior, we want it to be nice mm -hmm. and uh, light and delicate. Vanilla bean paste. If you don't have this, I love vanilla just bean add paste. It. It's so good, isn't it? Mm. It's Easy a little bit well. more bougie. It makes every bake you do uh, have a little bit more bougie. Otherwise, vanilla extract. Don't bother with vanilla essence. It's just not as, uh, as flavorful. So once you get it to this point, a little pinch of sea salt is always good in here. Oh. It balances Ooh. the flavor. Bit salty. Bit salty. And another little tip, if you want to kind of accentuate you can add a little bit of espresso powder <laughs> it just adds a little bit more depth do you know what it. as a kid growing up yeah. you know the coffee chocolates you used to think oh don't want the coffee chocolates but yeah. as i've got older you got to taste I, for I, them. I like putting a bit of like ground coffee into the you've thing. become more sophisticated mm. right and i think that's what it is i don't know what's happening <laughs> to me who are you i don't yeah. even know anymore he's eating who chocolate he? coffee chocolate i used to eat like happy meals that was it <laughs> now look at me you, were, I you... Mean, you still do i still do <laughs> They just make me happy. <laughs> they do, they do. And look, this is the sort of <laughs> food that does make you happy. So, well, look, once you have your batter looking like this and looking fancy and ready to go, this is where you could stud it with, like, chocolates in at this point if you wanted and fold them through. But ultimately, that is your basic batter mix and that will give you beautiful...
beautiful brownies. You're going to bake them for about 30, 35 minutes just until they kind of create a sort of a crust on the top. But you want to check it with a skewer to ensure that they are there. They, I still look for the little bit of gooeyness because if yeah, you don't have that. that and it does come out like a cake kind of batter, you're just going to end up with something that's overcooked and you won't get that like fudginess. No. Essentially, then you'll just have kind of a, a chocolate cake. So look, once you have it like this into the oven, get it baked off. Like I said, stud it with chocolates if you fancy, but otherwise that's your basic brownie mix and it'll cook off for about 30, 35 minutes at about 180 degrees Celsius, ready to rock. And that's the moment where you can have a bit of fun. So you have your brownies all done and dusted, looking lovely, straight out of the oven, let it cook. Oh, it doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to bring does. it. It does, it still looks gonna, great. We're going to bring it up with a lovely frosting, okay? So we've got some melted, well, not melted, but room temperature butter. Do not attempt this with cold butter. It will just go what, horribly what? wrong. It yeah. just goes clumpy. So what you want to do is mix together your softened butter and some cream cheese. And then we're going to slowly incorporate our, our cocoa powder. There is a tendency if you do this at home, especially... Sorry, is that all that was? What? Is that all that ganache is? Yeah. I thought the ganache was actually like melted oh, chocolates geez. or something. It melted chocolate. No, no, no. And I've always it's so I've, nice. <laughs> I've also, as you're talking there, I've made a complete mess. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's the it. Christmas mess that we never thought I should have used the mixer. I can oh, guarantee no, no. Anyway, we would be making this so mess. I up. find those this whisks. Is, this is what my kitchen actually that, looks like. Don't they? Those whisks can be absolutely <laughs> they do. trouble. I would recommend you do this with a, a hand, uh, hand beater. Yes, yeah. much easier. Anyway, once you've mixed that through, you'll get your cocoa powder, you'll get your icing sugar, and you'll get this beautiful ganache sort of topping of uh, cream cheese, buttercream. That's beautiful and really easy. Use it for a birthday cake, use it for brownies, but it always just brings to life something that's kind of quite dense and moist and just mm. adds that other layer of lusciousness. So nice uh, once I have not made a mess uh, across the kitchen, you I'm get gonna, out something just like this. You have made a mess of your trousers. That's all have I've I've Oh, no! Yeah. Not for Christmas. Christmas, for Christmas is Christmas is not his Christmas trousers. <laughs> and you know what? Christmas is over at this point. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, so look, once, you have, once you've made a mess of your clothes, make a mess of the kitchen, Perfect. you can go with your beautiful brownie frosting topping and oh, just look, look at mm. that, come on! It's absolutely gorgeous and like I said, it's a really versatile one because you can use it for chocolate cakes. I have a really gorgeous chocolate cake that I make for our boys' birthdays every year and I use this frosting because it's just a winner. Everyone goes, raves about mm. it. I genuinely thought there was something in that frosting. Did other than you? Cocoa powder, cream cheese it's and butter. literally that and it's so easy and like I said, you remember it because it's only a, a couple of ingredients. So uh, again, a little bit of a sea salt will just kind of balance out the sweetness because there's a lot of icing sugar in there if you get it into the bowl, not in your trousers. Mm -hmm. um, give it a little whisk across and mix and make uh, your fairy tale peaks. And then at this point, it's how you decorate. You can choose what you fancy. We've got some beautiful uh, chocolate orange segments, and you can just. I, I You've got to smash it. You've got to smash it. Right smash it. Yeah. So you get your lovely segments, pop them in, and this is where, you know, it's Christmas time, so you got to go the extra mile. It's still, like, we're still in those days where you want to impress and you have people yeah. over. So I think a bit of gold, gold baubles if you don't take your fillings out with them. Well, you know? I mean, I've managed to eat the whole piece <laughs> with them, Dumbwell. so it's fine. They're edible. They're edible. So, look, again, like I said, Ferrero Rocher would be go gorgeous over mm. here. Some chopped hazelnuts. I like to go the extra mile and just put everything on, because it's Why the not? It's Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's Christmas, Ryland, you know? you got to go Wild. So chopped hazelnuts, they're beautiful chocolate orange slices, and then if you have some sprinkles, disco sprinkles, get them in there because it just looks fabulous. And for me, you know, the, what I love most about this time of year is that once you get past the Christmas Day you know, all that effort. This is the time where you can really enjoy yourself. You can gorge out on the couch, you can make brownies and things like that, yeah. and just enjoy yourself. And a lot of people after that Christmas period, like where we are now, You've, you've sometimes got that time yeah. to sit there and do that. Yeah. Maybe you're not going back to work until the new year and things exactly. like that. Exactly. Well, realistically, in my house, is screaming children. And, yeah. you know, we're waiting until the schools come back. But you, know, you can't but wait. If, if you have the but time, that in itself, make some it gives, brownies. It gives them something to do, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that is the thing. Like, I do find, particularly around this time of year, my boys, you need to give them something and mm -hmm. keep them active. So, yeah. And it's and not just brownies, brownies we're getting from you today. Oh, we've got more, Ryland. We've got a beautiful leftover mac. If the leftovers are still staring at you from the fridge, we have the leftover. Well, if you've been watching this show every day, I don't know how you'd have any leftovers <laughs> well, left. <laughs> We've used, exactly. Surely you've used up all the leftovers by now. And cupboards are it's dry. leftover <laughs> recipe after leftover recipe. Isn't isn't it? It? Well, I've got more for you. So well, we're just looking forward to it. <laughs> we'll be back. Well, don't I, you worry, <laughs> Donald. I'll have my trousers cleaned by then. Yeah, don't right? hang yourself Sorry, up. Exactly. I'm glad we had yourself. pudding first and we're <laughs> having our mains at the end. Right, if you fancy biting into one of Donald's brownies, you can find all the recipe details on our free This Morning app.